question is large caps versus small caps. I don't know the answer to that. We we don't think. Uh, we don't we don't care whether companies large cap, giant cap, middle cap, small cap, micro cap. It doesn't make any difference. I mean, the only question to us is, can we understand the business? Do we like the people running it? And does it sell for a price that is attractive? The wonderful business, you know, you can figure out what will happen. You can't figure out when it will happen. You don't want to focus too much on when. You want to focus on what. But if you're right about what, you don't have to worry about when very much. When you look at the future, there's also the argument made uh, that, that this is something that goes with your philosophy today. Get out of cash and get into assets, because we don't know what's going to happen to the dollar. Well, cash is always a bad investment. Uh, <laughs> yes. I, I mean, when people said cash is king a year ago, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, cash wasn't producing anything, and it was sure to go down in value over time. And then you always want to be sure you have enough. I mean, <laughs> it's like, like oxygen. You want to be sure it's around, you know, but you don't need to have, you don't need to have excessive amounts of it around. Anything. No, I'd much rather own a good business uh, than have cash. Uh, and it is a hedge against the dollar? Well, you can say all assets are a hedge against okay. the, the dollar. I right. mean, the, the, all you know is that the dollar is going to be worth less 10, 20, 30 years from now. I say worth less, not right. worthless. Right. <laughs> you want to watch that. <laughs> but it, it will be, you know, and that's, that's true of almost every currency that I can think of. Uh, the question is how much uh, it depreciates in value. But So I would like to be lucky again. And, and if I'm lucky, then the way to do it is to play out that game and, 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 and do something you enjoy you know, all your life and be associated with people you like. I only work with people I like. You know, I, I don't, I don't, if I could make $100 million by buying a business with some guy that caused my stomach to churn, I'd say no. Because I say that's just like marrying for money, which probably isn't a very good idea in any circumstances, but if you're already rich, it's crazy, right? <laughs> I, I am not going to marry for money. <laughs>